Hello students, today we are going to see the topic factors affecting the plant location. I am Professor K. Kalidas to handle the session for you. So what is a plant? It's something better, industry. So it is the place where the resources like man, materials, money, equipment and machinery are brought together for a manufacturing process. So this plant location determines what is the cost of transportation of raw materials, what are the processing costs and what is the distribution cost of the particular product to the customers. So it is a graph, geographical area where the can, plant can be established facilitating the resources and the future expansion. So in order to establishment of an industry, what are the factors influencing or factors to be considered for establishing a particular industry? So that is what is the idea. So the first one is the nearest to the raw materials. If the industry is being established in a place where the raw materials are available, then it reduces the cost of transporting the raw material from the entire end to the plant. As you know, in wherever the minerals that are available, the particular industry will be established in that particular place. So that is the natural thing. Because to take the minerals and transporting it to the industry involves a yeah, transportation cost. So in order to minimize that, uh, anyway, we are going to have the establishment cost like buildings, facilities, etc. So that I am going to do nearer to the raw material availability so that my cost of transportation can be minimized. Then if you are trying to transport the raw material for a longer distance, then automatically due to various factors, the reduction of weight can occur in many products. So during its transportation, it may be hurt or some loss in it will due to some chemical reactions from the atmosphere. So anything may happen for the reduction of weight. So it's better to locate a plant nearer to the raw material. And second one is the transport facility. So it depends on the size of your raw material and the finished product. How I am going to transport my materials and product to the society. So again, the modes of transport like road, rail, and air can be used. If you have decided to transport the raw material through rail, then obviously you should not lay a separate uh, railroad for the particular industry. So it's better to establish the industry nearer to the place so that the mode of transport will be facilitated. So during the travel by trains, we might have seen uh, the petroleum industries, the cement industries, which are nearer to the rails, because these components can be transported by railways. So the idea is to establish the plant nearer to the mode of transport what you are going to select to transport the particular product or the material. By the way, we can reduce the cost of transportation of the particular product. The third factor is nearer to the market. Market in the sense, the place where you are going to sell. So it facilitates quick service to the customers. The product will be fresh enough to be delivered to the customers. 
again during transportation some damages may occur so that will be reduced if it is nearer to the mouth the mode of packaging the particular material for facilitating longer distances that also can be minimized the proper availability of labor so again there should be a stable work force who can work for say months together or weeks together then quantity of labor with uh, reasonable wage rates who are involved in the, the production that should be available so it means in that particular location if there are some experienced laborers then we can use him for the production of the product if not again we have to involve in the training and educating the employers for making the form so that can be so if the labor is available nearer to the industry the time taken for the labor to accommodate himself in the industry will be more if not the travel time between the place of living and the place of industry will be high so which will automatically make the um, person to get tired during the traveling so he cannot concentrate on the work so the availability of labor is a major then availability of fuel and power so for all the industries these two are the major things so if it is available in abundant then i can use the facility in availability of water so in process industries we cannot do anything without water in capital needs chemical industries etc so if the water facility is near then we can use that water for processing industries in addition we should need water for uh, drinking and sanitation purposes for all the labor force work in the plant in climatical conditions so the control of climate should not occur any cost it should be natural as far as possible so the industry has to be established in a normal climatic condition so the climate is say for example when oil will or uh, the oil storage industry if it is been established at a place where it is very hot automatically there is a process of uh, getting up fire accidents may occur so what they do is they try to again keep the entire industry in a normal climatic condition so again it in work some fast so all this has to be avoided so as far as possible the natural climate will be utilized to maintain the particular industry then financial aids See, there are uh, some places you can establish the industry you can get the fund from the government so if that is there then i should look for the places where i can establish say for example wind mills so if you establish a wind mill in a place where there is a lot of uh, air flow now the government is going to give you subsidy for uh, the power generation it's a financial aid then land so the geographical topography of the particular land has to be based so whether the ground level is good whether the industry has been established on the water body or not so whether it is possible to go for how much flooring in the particular place all this has to be designed the industry needs some free floors and the land is not supporting for uh, making the foundation then obviously the place selected is wrong so that has to be validated so that is an important factor and community attitude so the laborers who goes for working there how well they are going to be committed for working in particular industry so that has to be understood so there should not be any misbehaviors or legal actions in the 
labors so that that will reflect in the production process so the attitude of the particular labors those who are living in the particular area has to be analyzed then presence of related industries so any sub industries say for example if you are trying to assemble a particular product and uh, you are in needs of nut bolt washers etc if that shop is not nearby then obviously the assembly process is going to be getting failed so not only that particular industry i should look for my related industries whether it is nearby or not that also has to be accessed then basic facilities for labor like hospital bank post office market etc then local law buildings and the coordinates that has to be analyzed housing facility has to be taken care then security how well your industry is secured in and the expansion facility the provision for expansion in the future so now i have started for a small scale then i have to convert into a medium scale industry and a large scale industry that will be the objective of any industry so if i am trying to expand from small scale to medium scale then if my plant location does not support me then obviously i have to look for another location to establish my medium scale industry so instead if the expansion facility is good then i can use the same place for expansion so in this lecture we have seen about the factors which influences the location of yeah the industry or right?